cool. Okay, so before too many people come in, I'm just going to get rid of uh, subscriber, follower, and the chat. Yeah, I'll put them back up in just a bit. I'm going to do a little walkthrough of Brightwood because um, it's basically finished. I am just... I'm doing my... Um... Oh, thank you so much for following, teary-eyed princess. <laughs> Love your username. <laughs> How's it going? How are you? Um, I'm just gonna do a walkthrough of my island for my YouTube channel. Um, well, that's good. Um, I'm glad that you're okay. And then I'll put the follower stuff back up. Hi, <laughs> YouTube. Actually, no, you know what? We're not gonna pretend that we don't stream. You are absolutely correct. Teary-eyed princess. There you go. Jim! <laughs> thank you for subscribing, husband. And thank you for saying boobs in chat on my, um, this is going to be for the YouTube video, you butthead. Anyway, here's my beautiful little entrance. Um, I thought it was important to make sure that it looked really messy because we have three lazies on this island. We've got Zucker, we've got Bob, and we've got, um, oh god, what's his name? The cow. Stu. Stu? I don't know. I recently, on my YouTube channel, uh, and my TikTok, actually, I completed the museum in, oh, I've already forgotten, what was it, like 43 hours or something like that? And I recorded basically the whole process and turned it into YouTube videos. And basically the whole concept was that I wanted to beat Dagnell's time on YouTube. Hello? Oh god, I forgot that villagers could say your name. That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, there's somebody on my island. No, it's just Tipper. <laughs> anyway, so because of that series where I was um, on a second island uh, completing the museum. Yeah, you can call me Puddin'. That's hilarious. Love that. Um, I haven't been on Brightwood for a while, but I basically finished decorating it. Okay, so this island was... This is my island that I'm not going to reset. I'm going to... I'm probably going to flatten it at some point. Not flatten, but like, I'm probably going to completely redo it at some point. Imagine being allowed to make over villagers' houses. Yeah! Um, I have the... Expansion? Yeah, the, the, the DLC. Yeah, I have the DLC. Um, Look, I like it. I could live without it, though. Um, I mean, we, we all did for however long. Um, I do wish that they had released the DLC and the 2.0 update, like, further apart, like, separately. Um, because I felt very overwhelmed for a little while. I haven't played it. Yeah, it's... Look, it's... I think it's worth it. If you play a lot of Animal Crossing, it's worth it. Um, but if you don't, then... Um, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't bother. It's kind of like The Sims 4. If you don't play it a lot, stop buying the DLCs for it, you know? Um, <laughs> play it daily. Yeah, look. I really like the, like, Nintendo Online Expansion Pass thing. I think it's worth it, so, yeah. Anyway, this is my, like, what I'm calling, like, my permanent island or my good island. Um, I'm never going to reset it again because I'm so tired of, like, having to start over. Or, like, yeah, having to start over to be able to do a new idea. But also, I just... I want to have an island where it's done and it's pretty 
and like I can I can ch obviously I can change things around that's the whole point of Animal Crossing right like it's the reason why Nintendo only gave us one island per switch so that like you're sort of forced to like progress through the game one time and then um like you can change up the decorations and everything but yeah so I'm keeping this island for that but then I have a, I I <laughs> I bought a second switch because <laughs> For, just for me <laughs> because I really uh, I really wanted to try out that museum progress challenge but obviously with this island I had already made some progress with the museum so we bought a second switch for me <laughs> um, yeah but this island is sort of I don't know it's my baby I really like Brightwood um, so today I'm going to finish it. I'm going to work. I've, I've only got the beaches to do, so I need to decorate the beaches a little bit more. Um, you know, weeds, custom designs, uh, green mums, that sort of stuff. And what else did I have to do? Mm. Gosh, I've got a good memory. <gasps> That's okay. You go sleep. If it happens to wake you up, then you're always welcome to use me as background noise. Anyway, so this is what like my finished beaches look like. I put weeds down and a couple of custom designs. Nothing too um nothing too extreme. Um but yeah, I just I just want to have it done and then I can say that I have a pretty completed island. Um, this is Bob and Zucker's yard, by the way. I always think of, um, what are they called? Lazy villagers as, like, childlike. Very, like, kid core. This is as kid core as I was willing to go in this part of the island. Um, because if I went too extreme, then it wouldn't match with the rest of it. Like, I've got this, for example. Up here, I've got, like, my... This is, okay, this was supposed to be my creepy carnival, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I think, I need, I need to change Pietro's house. I think that's what I need to do. Um, and I didn't have nearly as much room as I thought I did. Um, <laughs> everything's a little bit cramped, but that's okay. <laughs> Whatever. And then up here we have, like, an abandoned cemetery. I just, I fell into the Halloween mood a few weeks ago um, so I made a couple of like creepier builds it's creepier at night I promise um, <laughs> but um, yeah then we've got Drift's house and he's a jock so he's got like some fitness stuff in the basketball court and then I've got like a park I guess like a pub like a public park area I guess you'd call it like this is where everybody's dumped their bikes and scooters and somebody's having a birthday party I don't know who but it's ready for a birthday party um, little soccer goal thingy and then just a little playground I didn't want to go too overboard again like I don't want to go to kid core with any of my spaces, but like I just, I couldn't help myself. I had to go a little bit kid cool. Um, and then we've got Tipper's house. And then here's like the farm. And then there's um, Stu's house and the rest of the farm. And this is Shipley the bear. He's having a picnic and he's fishing. He's named after one of my friends who regularly comes into my chat. Um, and then this is my orchard. I've got all the all the um, all the trees. Nice windy path. Let's actually follow the windy path, shall we? And then yeah, this is just the I don't know. We're, we're, we're pretending that there's a farmer who tends to this, okay? <laughs> um, Mabel and Sable's scooters little picnic with a little sewing area and then Nook's cranny yeah I 
don't know. I like it. I tried to make it, like, a little bit interconnected as well. Just a little spot of beach here. And then this is like the do not cross because this is the turtle area. Um, like the turtle hatching beach, I guess. Um, I did have it completely blocked off, but it was annoying me having it completely blocked off. So I've buried a couple of sticks so that it looks like nests that haven't hatched yet, like that haven't opened yet. And then a couple of um, custom designs that look like holes that have been dug and then a couple of custom designs that have eggs in them. I'm in the turtles, little baby turtles. I think it's cute. Ah. I don't know, have I caught a peacock butterfly? I don't... That's not even a peacock butterfly, that's a... Uh, a Madagascan sunset moth, and no, I hadn't caught it. <laughs> uh, there was a peacock butterfly around somewhere, but I think I went into Stu's house before I caught it, so... I'm not going to be able... Oh, look. the mu Doing the museum? <laughs> I can't help it. Now I've got to catch all the bugs. I can't just let them go. Hey. Dobie, no. No. Don't you dare. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take your spare globe. That's fine. Yeah, sure. Yep. God, I thought he wanted to leave. He's not allowed to leave. He's my grumpy old man. I love him. He's my grandpa. Alright, so we've got the shops. And then across here we've got the bamboo forest slash zen garden, I guess. Uh, and it sort of... It, twists around this way as well. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's a bit of a space filler. Um, <laughs> uh, but this is where Shino lives. I don't know. I just get this sort of vibe from her. So that's what she got for her yard. And then we've got a little picnic spot. A little bit of a forest. And then Dobie's house. And because he's an old man, he's got like his outdoor tool shed, somewhere to sit and have a cup of tea. He's got his wallet and his keys there. <laughs> um, yeah, some more like gardening stuff. And then his little fishing area. Yeah. I love it. I just love the vibe. Um... Sure, then we'll go up here. Now this I've shown off on TikTok and on YouTube before. But this is like the um, scientist, what do you want to call it? Research facility because they found some weird strange activity. Oh, let's check it out. Oh, it's all the glowing stuff. Woo! Spooky. Oh, it's aliens. Oh. You know? Scary. Very spooky. And then Sheena, not Sheena, um, Ioni lives here because she's an alien. And then the secret beach is down here. Ooh, big spots and ooh, more spooky. Oh. <laughs> Um, and then this is the real lab, the real research facility with all the spooky stuff. Um, my son, he's nine, he thought it would be really scary if they were testing on hamsters and rabbits. So that's what they're doing. <laughs> I don't know, it's spooky vibes. Woo! And then just like filler area. Because I have, um, I've left this island pretty much unterraformed. And we're back to my house. 
So my house has got a little seating area and the barbecue. And then we can jump over here. And we'll come down here and this is Dobie's house. And then if we follow this path, we can cross this bridge and we can get to a little cute teeny tiny campsite. Oh, it's so cute. Hey, how is there a dig spot there? There shouldn't be a spawnable spot there. I had made it all completely spawn proof. Apparently not. There. There we go. And then we can go up here to the actual campsite. So all of this is too close together for me to actually walk through it properly, but yeah, here's the like actual, actual campsite. And then yeah, I thought, you know, let's make it like a area where it looks like people are actually camping here. So, yeah, we've got the little kitchen over there and like some seats. Someone was playing the ukulele. There's a chainsaw that somebody's left on. How irresponsible. Got the firewood down there and then a little, a little area where kids can play. I don't know. A washing area and then my favorite one the poop bucket if you can see just here to my right is a stack of toilet paper <laughs> basically I'm hilarious because I included somewhere the, the people who are staying at this campsite to poop I think I'm very funny uh, then what have we got we've got oh yes this is the orchard have I missed anything? I don't think I've missed anything. <laughs> um, I don't think I have. Oh, this is my little lavender field. We're pretending that this is lavender. And it's got the little beehives. Very cute. And then my rock garden and in here is supposed to be the only places where stuff can spawn like fossils and gyroids and stuff it can spawn in here everything else has got clear custom design codes um and then for those of you who have watched the series where i completed the museum this this is where i recorded all of the reactions and stuff for that, um, for the, like, in-between narrator bits for my, um, completing the museum series. And if you pay attention to the flowers, um, and you know Animal Crossing, you'll know that this is at least one of every single flower in the game, and I got them all completely legit and definitely definitely did not go to a treasure island to get most of them <laughs> it's all about aesthetics i didn't care how i got them i just wanted to get them hi zucker um so who have we got on the island we've got drift we've got Stu. we've got shino we've got tipper ioni pietro bob agnes Zucker and Doby. Yay! Oh, the most important part of my island. These. Yes, high drift. Uh, no, go away. Yes, bye. Um, this is the Flamingo concert. These two are. I don't know, they're singing a duet, and everybody's brought their folding chairs and camping chairs and some people have just brought pillows but that doesn't matter because they're at the concert and everyone's having a great time woo woo
and Bon Bon. Anyway, I know that you just got back teary-eyed princess, but I'm actually gonna head off because I'm tired. <laughs> it's um, it's nearly midnight here and yeah, I'm, I'm tired. I know, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to stream more often, so I'm very glad that you followed. I'm hiding behind the tree. I think I might start streaming on YouTube maybe because like i don't know might make more sense but i don't know don't unsubscribe from twitch because twitch is easy and i know twitch um yeah but definitely um i'm not trying to shill <laughs> i swear i'm not trying to shill but if you're sad that i'm gone i do have a pretty substantial back catalog catalog of videos on my youtube that um, I think are worth watching. Um, I think I'm hilarious. Uh, yeah, but now that I've chilled, <laughs> I will catch you next time I'm streaming, hopefully. Mm, bye.